Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Loser Semifinals. This is Leviticus, and uh, we are now going to see Betty B, who you just heard in the booth, versus Pangolin. Uh, that last game was incredible. Um, Betty has been playing out of her mind. Her match against CB Mata was incredible, so I can only assume that we'll see the same here. Uh, I'm going to give the players a go-ahead, and we'll get started in just a moment. So uh, I already did type it in there, but uh, we have a stacked chat tonight, a star-studded cast, so shout out to all of you guys. Thank you for watching, I appreciate it. Alright, both players finding different ways to the same opening, but Betty is- or Penguin, in fact, excuse me, is gonna find the combo first. Betty's showing off incredible tilt speed, I think. Uh, Anglin is going to have to try to match that if uh, she wants to take out a player of, of her caliber. I think Betty is just improved out of her mind. To be honest, I think ever since Columbus, Ohio, and, and this year's, or last year's, in fact, uh, Dr. Mario Championships, the level of skill across the board from all players has just skyrocketed tremendously. It's been amazing to see. Uh, there's just a lot of crazy upsets that have been happening left and right in, in all tournaments. <laughs> Uh, at all levels, it's just been a while. It's an exciting time. England having some trouble at the top of her board. She needs a red to get out of this. Uh, but her board is still very high up at the top, and Betty is uh, keeping things quite clean. Uh, very little garbage to speak of on her board, and that's unfortunately going to be a top out for Pangolin. The one goes to Betty. Going right into a game, too. Both players taking the exact same moves, but Betty finding them a little faster. She's going to just have a slight advantage on that first combo. And she is going to find another setup. These players are playing the same four as the garbage finally giving us a little divergence here. <laughs> that went on for... Far too long. Anglin trying to knock things down on her left side, and she does. She's gonna get an incredible quad on Betty here. And Betty's gonna send a quad right back to her. These two are just going toe to toe. They're tit for tat. They are not. Uh, no one can can pull ahead here. This is amazing. Betty gonna find a drop T on her right. Unfortunately, she has a little garbage on her column 7 and 8, and uh, not ideal, um, but uh, if she gets the right pills, then uh, I think that can be easily addressed. But Pangolin, meanwhile, a uh, relatively clean even board, starting um, to find even more setups and just add insult to injury. Betty really needs a yellow-red, I think is what she's holding out for. She is going to get it. She is going to put it in place to knock down her right side, but at what cost? Well, that garbage is actually going to help her a little bit to, to keep her in this. And this... Oh, wow! <laughs> There's a drop that is almost a full line across the board. Amazing combo from Betty. Wow. Yeah, it was essentially... Mark says Tetris double in the chat. Essentially, yes. About as close as it gets in this game, I would say. Suddenly, Betty's board is uh, is starting to look much healthier. She is uh, beginning to pull ahead. However, Pangolin does have some ideas. She's going to have to put out an awkward blue-yellow on the left side here. Uh, not really much she can do about that. But she is uh, fighting to maybe get these setups cleared away. Leaves up something there. Saying, this isn't Tetris. I mean, well, that's what makes it impressive. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. This Betty's making Tetris moves in Dr. Mario. Not even, not even rollers are doing that. Uh, Betty's starting to really find an advantage here, although Penguin's board not as messy as it might have seemed a moment ago. Doesn't really have any use for this yellow-red without breaking her setup, but uh, 
She's just not f able to find a combo. She finally will do it. Nice setup here with these blue L. But uh, Betty is uh, looking much more even on the board, ahead by about nine viruses. It's gonna take uh, some serious aggression on Pangolin's part, I think, to make this comeback. Either that or she'll have to just catch Betty getting a little overzealous with uh, a setup that's maybe a little, a little un too big, uh, a little unnecessary, and uh, put her in a bad spot if she can block it off. But uh, it's not easy to do, and Betty is uh, knocking these setups down effortlessly. Still some trash on Betty's right side, but uh, her endgame's looking very good. Outside of these blue reds in column seven that are sort of alternating here, never a good pattern, of course. But uh, if anyone can figure out a way to turn that into a, a, an awesome setup, I think it would be Betty. Yeah, just an unfortunate checkerboard, a popcorn situation, as we sometimes call it, <laughs> if you will. Anglin is opening things up now. Would like a blue yellow to clear this. Uh, Huge vertical setup she has in column three, and she does. Always important to take those as soon as you possibly can before they get blocked off. Um, and uh, she's doing the best she can. I don't know if she has enough time. I mean, as I say that, Betty's board is looking quite buried, but she does have a setup to break it open. And she is going to get it, and some garbage is going to help her out even further. Now it's just going to be a matter of getting these blues in the back, the back corner. I mean, if she can keep up the aggression long enough, if she can find enough combos to keep Betty away from this endgame, then it's possible. I mean, this is... Those last three viruses in the bottom right corner for Betty are still looking very blocked off. She is going to be able to get the red hor horizontally here, but these blues are still... Uh, quite a ways away. She is finding a red horizontal setup, it looks like. But, uh, I mean, if Anglin is going to need to turn up the aggression here, I think. Um, Betty's in a spot where her she is trying to do some more outlandish moves to get to the end game, but it requires blocking up her board, and if she can get, uh, send garbage over to cut Betty off at the right time, that could turn things around here. Yeah, and as I say that, some more garbage is going to block off Betty's setup, but she is going to underclear to get the triple setup. She's gonna, she is looking very good right now. Both blues are now exposed, and she is just trying to find the piece she needs to bring it home. Having a little trouble with that, but uh, making setups along the way, as one should. Oh yeah, this is... This is going to be incredibly difficult. Uh, Anglin's going to need a lot of combos and some very lucky garbage, I think, to stop Betty from closing it out here. One blue is all it takes. And that's going to be game two to Betty. She is up 2-0 in the set. Both players finding the same openings at almost the same speed. Love that. starting to get a little hamstrung, holding out for a red-yellow that is not coming. She is just going to elect to take down the center. Does get a double red uh, to make that set up a little more uh, worthwhile. I think she will clear these yellows away, yeah. Keeping the center open. Keeping her tournament run alive. And suddenly things have cleared up in the, in the center of her board. Meanwhile, Betty... Uh, she is just cooking over there. She's got some crazy looking setups that she will now drop. And another. Wow. Huge T into a drop for Pangolin. She's not giving up, and that blue garbage on Betty's side is going to ruin her horizontal setup. She will just clear the blue reds off the top to send a little garbage back Pangolin's way. It's 
amazing to see like the top players of this game and their their play at the top of the board when they're put in a corner and they have to survive. Some of the stuff that they can pull off is amazing. Sitting now at 36 to 33, uh, both boards relatively even looking, although the, that can change in a, at a moment's notice. Um, but I will say the Pangolin's edges are starting to look very messy. Uh, I'm not sure if uh, she is an efficient way to clear all of that out, especially if Betty continues to rain this garbage down. the exact situation you want to avoid against uh, anyone, really, but especially a player like Betty who can take advantage of it. The better the, the better your opponent, the more difficult it is to, to come back from situations like this, so Penguin's really going to have to turn it up and win here. take the blue tee here to start opening up that side. That is exactly what she needs. And this garbage is going to rain down on Betty, not blocking anything in particular, but unless unless the garbage is directly comboing you or giving them a setup, it's never... I'll, I'll take it all day. Honestly, I think maybe there have been some setups that have gone awry for Betty. She was very high up on the board there and uh, has no virus access to speak of. Both players sort of in the same camp in that respect right now. Anglin has done a good job of chopping down the, the right side here that uh, was looking pretty nasty earlier. Now Betty's right side, or column 8 in particular, looking very concerning. Anglin is tenacious, uh, just says Jmerk in the chat. Says Jmerk in the chat. Uh, that uh, is the perfect way to put it. That's what you need. And look at the position she's putting Betty in. She's a very... Uh, oh, that red garbage is going to block up the setup she needed to chop down her left side, and suddenly it's looking very dangerous. She's going to find another setup to help break it down. Oh, she elects not to take the horizontal. I don't... Well, that might be an issue. Uh, she's going to make great progress on the right. She's still going to get some setups. Um, I think she's waiting on a double yellow to sort of take down this left side. It is not... He's not getting it, unfortunately. And in all this time that she's waiting, uh, Pangolin is wasting no time sending garbage over to her. I don't think she can hold out much longer. Oh, and I think Betty may have left this too long. She finally does get the double yellow, so she will get a combo out of that. But I feel like the damage has been done here. Speed is starting to pile up. Um, Betty is going to have to... <laughs> Make sure she doesn't make a single misdrop here. One mistake can we'll end this game for her. Luckily making a little more space now and clearing out that center once again. Both players with some, some unsightly boards, to put it mildly. Betty is turning it up. She is making her way down the board, finally getting some virus access and getting some clears. Pangolin is unfortunately slowly running out of horizontal space here. Her Both of her columns on her left and right are totally filled up. Um, she has some space underneath now on the right side, so where she can start to uh, attack from underneath to try to maybe bring that down a little bit, but even then, all of that mess is just going to cover the viruses underneath. It's not a great spot to be in. I 
say he's just finding some ridiculous setups here. I think uh, as long as Betty can find an endgame setup here to, to get breakthrough and get to these viruses, particularly the blue on column 6 at the very bottom, um, this might be the end of the road for Penguin. She's quickly running out of room. Her viruses at the bottom uh, are far from being exposed, although she does have a little bit of a, uh, a gap to get this blue. And that's going to be it. Betty's going to find the endgame, and that's going to be 3-0 for Betty. Amazing showing from Pangolin. Shoutouts to her for a deep run. I believe that's going to give her a fourth, a fourth place finish in the tournament. That's an amazing result uh, in a field like the one that we've had today. So... Uh, nothing to be ashamed of. Uh, you should be very proud of that. Uh, we are going to move on to the next game uh, where Betty is going to get the rematch versus Hibimoto. Stay tuned. <laughs> 